don't need to hold on much longer, folks, because we are back on AM 1220 KHDS, Santa Cruz hometown station. It's the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John, the Gazette Radio Digest version of the Santa Clarita something. I mess this up See, every I know, time. Exactly. The first two I did I, great. Yeah, wait, oh, how about just Don't the Doug started. and John show? Oh, yeah, we got, we're got we affiliated with the Gazette, sort of, kind of. How's that? Okay. Okay. But you know what time it is. <laughs> we're the militant it's wing of the Santa Clarita Gazette. The militant wing of the Santa Clarita Gazette. <laughs> the Santa Clarita said for people who don't read. <laughs> All right, you know what time it is. I think so. He's sitting in there. He's sitting in here. You've heard him. You know him. You love him. You, I you pull I over to the side far. of the you pull over to the side of the road just so you can listen to him. <laughs> uh, no, I pull over when I see him coming in that truck. <laughs> <laughs> the man, the myth, the yet, legend. And every week he comes back for more abuse. <laughs> It's Perry Smith, the news director of KHCS, and executive news director. Congratulations <laughs> on the promotion, by thank the way. Thank you. Thank you, vice executive <laughs> vice news director. Yeah, it didn't thank come you, Doug and John, for having me on. He, uh, he, he loves to come in here and uh, give, us, give us five good stories. All right. I, I talk about the news. That's what I do. The let's news. go for it. Um, unfortunate first story. There was a burglaris, burglary vandalism incident at Pine Tree Elementary, and that's just terrible. And I bring it up because if anybody knows... These hooligans who jumped the fence, got caught on camera, and stole some iPads, and broke all the doors, and then stole a set of master locks, so every single door in that oh. entire campus has to be rekeyed. Then please come forward and call the sheriff's station. Now, did they two get a five good five look at one one two one. Is there a good? Re- they do have video. Um, those things always have uh, different levels of quality. So yeah. I mean, without me personally seeing the video, I couldn't tell you how That's how well it is. But it's um, I'm sure they have some evidence. I'm sure they yeah. have some fingerprints. Yeah. I don't know if these. Uh, Geniuses wore gloves. I, I, like I said, I hadn't seen the video, so uh, I just hope that if somebody hears something, somebody got an iPad offered to them on a discount off the back of the truck, that they, uh, you know, report it because I'm sure they know the serial numbers for this stuff, and I'm yeah. sure that uh. you know that stuff. Um, hopefully, get back to the kids because when you steal from a classroom, you're stealing you're from, from the kids. kids. That's that's the tough part. Um, so, uh, so moving right along, let's just get a little more. It's a little cheery, I hope. <laughs> I don't know. Is it a Nats cheery? No. I'm not going to go too far because this is this was brought to me. I saw it on Facebook, and a shout out to Stacy Fortner. Um, she brought it to our attention, posted it, and then a lot of other people chimed on. There are Nats at Central Park, hey, allegedly. Probably, they're, they're like City mosquitoes. <laughs> Breaking news: There are Nats at Central yeah, Park. Well, no, wait, <laughs> you're saying there's, there's Nats in the backyard too? No, I mean uh, Nats as far as those little. Bug Gnats. things? Gnats. 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 Yes, <laughs> for those who are illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> or like to talk phonetically. <laughs> That's right. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you win that round, John. Um, but yeah, no, I, I don't know as far as like I personally have not experienced this, but I saw the post and a bunch of other people jumped on. Santa Clarita sent down some uh, vector control inspection and they failed to yield the problem. Uh, but the people were saying that their dogs were like covered in gnats. They were covered in gnats. They couldn't shake them off. And, wow. You know, it's it's unfortunate just because Santa Clarita's concerts in the parks are going on right now yeah. at, at Central Park, and that's a great um, city event. So you you hate to get yeah. bugged by gnats. Bugged by gnats. Uh-huh. 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 That's what I did. You there. know, that was that, that's that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Goodbye. <laughs> you only oh, get two for that. Two. No. Um, no, it's just another story we did that I I thought had a high um, level of interest based on the uh, emails and texts and messages was the Santa Clarita Valley. Um, some friends, uh, some volunteers of the Castaic Animal Shelter posted some concern about some unlicensed trainer uh, that was out there. And we named him in the story, so you can check it out at hometownstation.com if you want the, the, the detailed details. Um, but basically, this guy was taken in dogs and uh, allegedly taken in dogs. And they had pretty good proof. They had 18 dogs that he had collected and what happened to all the dogs. And wow. they, I saw, saw the list. And... Uh, Taking people, hey, I'll you know I'll train your dog or I'll I'll hold your dog or you know I'm a rescuer, and then he was handing him over to a high kill shelter. Oh, um, wow! And so two of the dogs were actually euthanized, and so it's a horrible situation. And you know we don't like to um, you know blast people, but this is something that people need to know about, yeah, and it, be careful. it spurs the bigger issue of how do I know if my animal rescue or, or the animal trainer that I'm taking my my pet to my you know beloved member of yeah. my household is above board and legitimate and what we found unfortunately is, is there's not a lot of specific uh licensing and and paperwork certification uh, right. the state doesn't really oversee specifically if you want to say you're an animal trainer there's not a lot that anybody can do to say hey no you're not it's a simple easy answer is to ask questions right and, and that's exactly what yeah. we talked to a bunch of different animal experts and they were saying you know hey there's there's warning signs there's red flags to look for if they don't let you on the property if they're trying to hide things then you want to yeah you know, that's they're probably not 
Don't keep your pet in your car. Right. Right. How many times do you hear that over yeah. the summer? Like, Several. You, like you would do that. Several. Are we are we good, Peter? Can I we're keep good, going? We're good. Keep going. Okay. Have one minute. Um, the drought is still going on. It's still a thing. It still yeah, hasn't rained. Like... In, in, uh, we got a little trickle earlier this month. <laughs> Doug's not happy about it. He's drinking water. <laughs> and he's pouring the rest of the water all over the studio just I, to, like to celebrate his water. water. Like, you um, probably flush the toilet, too, don't you? <laughs> Oh, he leaves the water running while he's brushing his yeah, teeth. Exactly. You know he, you know he does. Yeah. All right. You what don't know me at all. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you got something else. This I've actually depressing. never been in his bathroom in the morning, full disclosure. So no, it's, okay, it's just rumors a little bit better about you two. Growing up in Arizona, we had a saying about the toilet. I don't know if I can say it on the air. but Don't. Then don't. Okay. <laughs> then please don't. <laughs> it, it was in the regard when to flush the toilet and when not to because. When it's yellow, let it mellow. Okay. Yeah. When it's brown, flush it down. That's you can it. say that. Yeah. Okay. Of course, that could also really be the, not where I thought that it also could be that. the state of the California economy when it's uh, brown and flush it down. Oh, <laughs> oh. I'll be here all week. <laughs> um, so the Santa Clarita Valley Water Committee uh, has uh, drafted a plan, a water action plan, to cut down. Uh, where our goal is twenty percent less water. It looks like um, based on this watering chart that I'm looking at. We'll it's talk even, about that later. Okay, okay, we got that. We got that covered. But that's that that's covered. an issue, and uh, yeah, you guys have a water expert we coming on. Somebody who actually learners. knows. Someone How who water knows works. what they're talking about. All right, I'm getting the symbol from Peter. So no. you oh. All right, Perry Smith, Perry everybody. Smith. The, the news, news director, director. KHTS. Thank the man, you. the myth, the legend. Perry has left the building. <laughs> I know. I like saying that, though. All right, you're listening to the Gazette Radio. Thanks, right, Perry. Doug Brown it. AM 1220 Thanks KHTS, Santa Clara's hometown station. We'll be right back. Hey, John, I heard Tom Petty has a new album out. Have you heard it? Uh, no, but I do have tickets to his concert. Oh, you'll probably hear some of the songs. Then. Yeah, probably. Anyway, folks, this is Santa Cruz Hometown Station, AM 1220 KHTS. You are listening to the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John. It's a Radio Digest version of the Santa Cruz Gazette and Free Classifieds for all you need to know to be in the know. You right? got it right. You I, should just play that I tape it and play it right. All right, so we have we, we were talking with Perry about the, 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 the drought. Right. And we have a, our water expert on Maria Goodsight. Maria, you're there, I hope. Yes, I am. How are you guys? Awesome, Hi, Maria. Hey, we haven't heard a lot from you since that uh, spirited run for city council. You caused a lot of people to stop and think. How you been holding on? Oh, good. I'm happy to have some new challenges with these water issues. So, you know, I, I love staying involved in Santa Cruz, and we definitely got a lot going on right now with water. Now, you're vice president of the board of the Newhall County Water District. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, what, Doug? What, Doug? How was that? <laughs> I told Doug that, and he goes, "What does that mean?" <laughs> Um, well, our, we're a retailer, one of four retail water agencies right. in Santa Clarita, and our board sets the policy for our water district, much like the city council sets the policy for the city staff. Now, the district is, is, is it, it's not all of Santa Clarita, right? No, we, we actually were the first water agency in town, and we served everyone that was not a private water company, so... We serve essentially a lot of the outlying areas, the Newhall, Castaic, Tesoro, and Pine Tree are our big chunks of service area. And just for our listeners, who are the other ones? The other ones are District 36, is the L.A. County Waterworks District, which serves Val Verde. Then you have Santa Clarita Water and Valencia Water, uh, which used to be private but now have been purchased by Castaic Lake Water Agency. And Castaic Lake Water Agency is the wholesaler. Is that the best Correct. way to describe them? They're a wholesaler, and they, they are contracted to supply state water from the state water project. And that water is about half of our water supply in Santa Cruz, and the other half is groundwater. Okay. All right, so let's get to it. The drought. How bad? It is bad. Um, Santa Clarita is better off, I, I hesitate to say, than most of the state, but we are in a really good position for this drought because we've done a lot of advanced planning and purchased some backup supplies. So there's a lot of areas that have immediately suffered. Uh, we are not at the suffering point right now. Right. Now, from a state standpoint, any idea how bad this thing is? I mean, it's all you hear on the news is how bad California right. is turning brown. It's going to blow away and dust bowls. Yeah, and all this stuff. you know, it's it's really regional. Um, you know, I talked about we have a diverse supply with good groundwater and good state water contracts. 
some areas only have groundwater, and that groundwater may very well be uh, drying up, like in the San Joaquin Valley. Yeah. Um, some areas, like Los Angeles, rely on sources that are being cut back, like Owens River water coming out of Mono Lake right. or uh, Colorado River water, um, which is also you know problematic. So. It really depends on their supply, how, how bad areas are doing. We absolutely need rain, and we absolutely need snow. Um, yeah, the snowpack it, is the problem, isn't so, it? Yeah, and that, that would help everyone, as would um, infrastructure to handle the rain and snow when we get it. Um, so there's a lot that we need to do going forward. So, Maria, let's get right down to the folks and what we're dealing with or how we should be reacting to this. And I'll just use me as an example. I've cut back on my watering, and uh, unfortunately I bought a house that has a lot of grass about Mm -hmm. six, eight years ago, and Mm -hmm. I got these big brown spots, and it's driving me nuts, but I'm holding the line, and I'm only watering three times a week. Do I got got a hold to that? Um, Well, technically, today, no, you do not, because the water agencies have not adopted their individual policies yet. We were working on a draft earlier this week, and it has to go through all all the individual boards uh, before it's legal um, or legally binding on you. Um, Absolutely, everybody should... Uh, conserve as much as they can, and the and the main thing that we can do is uh, minimize the runoff. Um, you know, so make sure when you're watering, it's going on your lawn and not in the street. Right. But um, you know, one thing for pe- that I don't think is being talked about is urban water use in the state of California is only 20 percent of the state's water use. We are a small portion of the total water demand in the state. We were asked on very short notice to go to 20% conservation, 20% less than last year in a drought. Um, so 20% of our 20%, we're, we, even through all that we are trying to do on very short notice, at best will save 4% of the state water. So not only do we need to work locally, we absolutely need to work at the statewide level. Right. And I don't want people to forget that, that, yeah. that if we, we suffer our brown lawns, we're done because we are absolutely not done. Yeah. What's the other 80 percent? I mean, if 20 percent uh, The is other 80 percent is the combination of ag and environmental uses, which includes, you know, minimum flows for fish habitats, oh, wow. uh, water for hydroelectric and things like that. So... You know, I tell people we're going to do our part, but we shouldn't be flogging ourselves for having grass because really that is not the big problem. I mean, we we need drought-tolerant landscaping, but we're not bad people living in this city because we're not the majority of the water use in the state. Wow. Now, when you drive through, like, the Bakersfield area in the Central Valley and you yeah. see the signs up about – they farmers are feel they're being cheated out of the water flow. Oh, is yeah. that because of the uh, the fish situation? Do I have that right? Well, actually, they are. Some of them are on the same water supply we are coming out of the Sacramento Delta. Some of them have another water project that runs basically in the Central Valley. Um, in, People are, you know, we're all very happy that we turn on the tap and the water comes out, but there's this huge legal, uh, you know, lawyer-filled industry going on with water contracts and lawsuits over fish or environment or, you know, uh, farming industries, uh, other regulated industries, water quality. Um, It is very complex. And I would say, essentially, we're not really affecting the farmers whose signs you see. They are largely on groundwater right. there, and they're also largely on another uh, water project in the Central Valley called, actually, the Central Valley Project. <laughs> hey, can Maria, you? can you hang on and uh, hang over the break for us? Sure. Okay, thank you. Great. All right, you're listening to Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John on AM 1220 KHCS Santa Cruz hometown station. We'll be right back with Maria Gutzeit of the Newhall County Water District.